I have uh, built me a mini double decker. This is my favorite compact for starting out. This allows you to have some shadows and everything in it, and it's like a full face of makeup with a few brushes, and that's completely affordable. You have everything right here in one compact. Very streamlined, it's very easy to use, and if you can color by numbers, you can do this. Started with a fresh face. So I'm just gonna use a detailed hack brush because this one's known for a really good detail. I'm gonna use uh, the wedge end. Start with a dark brown color. This is my highlight, my contour, and my cheek colors. Cause it kills me from within. Your voice is like an arrow that pierced me through the heart. And your touch is like fire that will burn my skin. I wish that I could see. I have contoured everywhere. You see, it looks kind of weird. What I'm using here, you can put an eyeshadow primer on, but I am just using my highlight color, uh, one of my highlight colors, because it's just right there and it works. These are the shadows. I'm going to use very neutral, basic colors today. This is Philly, this is Bubba, Valencia, and Unicorn. And I'm basically just going to stack up with a little extra V in the outer corner. It's an easy way to do um, eyeshadows. Even if you kind of have a struggle with putting on eyeshadows, this brush really is a game changer. I'm first going to start with Bubba. Bubba's a nice, great transition shade. And I'm just going to take this fluffy end of the eyeshadow everything brush, and I'm going up under, like, leave your eye open natural. It's so hard to see you. And I'm doing like a windshield wiper motion. It's so hard to hear you when it makes you laugh. The ring around your finger is a noose around my neck. Really I easy way to do it too is just kind of go around in a circle. Valencia. So I'm going to take the small end. Valencia is like a second transition shade. So I'm going to go up underneath. See where I close my eye and see where my crease is. I'm going underneath that and onto my eyelid with Valencia. Alright, so there is Valencia and Bubba. Now I need, I'm going to do a much deeper tone, and this is Philly, and I'm going to use Philly most in the outer corner really deep. So I'm going to switch brushes because I want it to be very dense, and this is the Blend and Tap brush, and it makes uh, shadows, picks them up. Uh, the Eyeshadow Everything brush makes them very subtle and soft and very blended. It's a great brush to blend with. This one is also where you can pack it on. I don't ever want to use that word, but it kind of is more intense in color. So I really want some depth there in the outer corner of my eye. So I'm going to use um, Philly. Now, all of my eyeshadows are in my compact that I'm using. So everything I'm using is right here. Those are your favorite. I love those too. So see how I'm packing in in that outer corner and pressing it and dabbing. This is why this is called the Blend and Tap Brush. It's more dense and it's where to tap on color and make it more intense. It's so hard to be near you. Make it hard for me to breathe. I can't stand to see you smile. Top of the hood and create that depth to push it back. See how that did my eyes and it pushed them back. You need some kind of depth on eyeshadows. If they're too light, it just kind of lifts up the eye and they don't really anchor where someone looks at. So once I put that, it gave me an anchor to say, hey, attention right here. And it gives a place for people to look. It just kind of directs them that way. So I'm gonna take just a hint of the feely right into the outer corner as well. So now I'm gonna take the uh, fluffy end of the eyeshadow and everything brush, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Valencia and just a little right here, just in case. I don't wanna lose that pretty buttery color of Valencia. 
right there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Bubba and make sure I don't lose some of the Bubba right there, right on that brow bone. And that what helps doing that too. See how it softened that filly that it looks variegated and it doesn't look harsh. I'm gonna use a Unicorn is a shimmer. So all the three that I just used are mattes. So I'm going to use some Unicorn and I wanna use my finger. Mainly, the reason why I want to use my finger is because it's gonna make it more bright, white, and intense. And this is the reason why I do eyeshadows first. See how I can spill it out and I can clean that up with my highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna take the small end of the eyeshadow everything brush and I want this a little bright with that to lift my eye just a little bit. And see that. I love that. I love the unicorn. Okay, I think I want a little bit of Bubba right here to deepen that a little bit because my skin falls down there a little bit, and this is a great way to push it back. But I won't, don't want it to be dark, so I don't want to use the filly. So I'm using Bubba just to push that back a little bit to give me more of a recess since I have skin that falls down. <laughs> so these are the shadows I used. I used Philly, Bubba, Valencia, and Unicorn. And I really, really like it. Now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm going to use the Multitasker brush for my brows. Multitasker brush fits its name because it has multiple uses. You can use it for tons of things. I'm going to use Indigo Contour. So for my brows, the great thing about this product is its versatility. You can use them for multiple things. You can use the contour to line your lips, which is great, especially if we have lines around our lips. This is much softer than a harsh lip liner. Uh, you can use it for brows and detailed hacking or contouring, okay? So I'm gonna use this little tiny end of the brush and I'm gonna dip into the contour and I'm just going to intensify my brows just a little bit because they're lighter in color. Even though I have a microbladed, see this is microbladed, I have really no hair there and the hair that does come through is uh, very light, so they're blonde. So all I'm doing is really laying down this indigo contour, which kind of really matches my hair color. And sometimes your contour color, but my contour is olive, and it's still a little light or a little red for my brows. So this is just a little deeper. So if you need help with a, a contour color to match your brows, sometimes your contour matches perfectly and then sometimes you may have to grab another color. You can also use eyeshadows to line your brows as well. And see, all I'm, the microblade makes it really easy because I have a line to follow. super versatile. All right, so the, there's my brows. Everybody needs brows. It just anchors the face. It lifts the eyes. It's a game changer. I'm telling you, if you're not used to doing your brows, you need to. This is the best blend forever brush. Touch into the highlight. You lightly want to tap. All right, do you see what I did there? This is in this section, like color by number, I put another color, and do you see what that did? It definitely tones down my H spots and it brightens my skin tone. Alright, between the brows, fan it out. Notice I didn't go over the contour. I just filled in that section. So it's one layer of makeup. It's like magic. Now, beard, here's your contour, no makeup, contour, and I'm just going in that section with my highlight. Over here, beard and mustache. See how I'm just sweeping and swirling it around? I like to take the 
Beauty Blender. This is the Perfector sponge that's slightly dampened and I'm using Dabbing Motions. going to take a brightener. So here is my contour that I use. This is a color I just used for the second color and then the cheek color will be the third. But I'm going to use a second highlight and I always like to color match ladies with the second one. This is the reason why. So watch right here. I'm going to take this one that's a couple of shades lighter than my skin and I can help you find that color. That's what being color match means. So I just lightly dab in it and I'm just going to lightly put a little bit of a lighter highlight there in the center of the face. I would not want to just do this all by itself because it's not my color and it would separate and it would look off in just a little bit of time because the cream warms up to the skin and moves and so if you have the wrong color you would see it separate. So I'm just lightly tapping it in to my already highlight color and brighten it up. I'm gonna take a little bit with my finger and make this a little bold of my other highlight and tap it in with my brush. Now look, so I'm gonna look awake. I'm going to do the third part is your cheek color is part of your foundation. I can use the same brush. I could use the detailed hat. I just can only have one brush and be totally done, uh, done with uh, using one brush. I prove that all the time, so look, I wanna use the small end of the B squared brush just to, sh to show that brush off a little bit. So this is Hollywood. Here's Hollywood. It's a matte with a little bit of shimmer, and I'm just touching it on the apples of my cheeks and tapping it back. Then I talk to take and make sure I don't have too much excess on. And look at that. Mm, love it. Let me show you a little trick. I can take a small end of the brush. I want to take that lighter highlight that I had, and I'm just going to take that little bit right there. See this? Here's you a little trick. The, I mean, the colors are so easy to play in, guys. They're so easy to play in. And I'm just tapping that out. And you see how that cleaned up my eyeshadows? And look, it gave me an eyelid. And that a good thing. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do an illuminator. Illuminator, it just gives you a little bit of glow. So this is a cream one. This one's called Angel. And so I am just tapping that on, right on that cheekbone. I don't wanna go too close to my crow's feet because it's a shimmer and it would show off my crow's feet. So I just wanna come down a little bit on that to get it some, a nice smooth surface. One of my contours, the one I use for my brows, is great. I love Photoshop, too. I have Photoshop in my compact, too. I love it. It's one of my favorites. All right, so here's the uh, Indigo that I use in my brows. It works nicely to line your lips. And I'm going to use the Multitasker brush, but you can totally use uh, your finger. And I'm just going to take... And this seems really wrong. Trust me, it works. So I'm just kind of not really going I'm on the outside of my lip, just a little bit. It's like an overline. Right now I'm gonna take Hollywood that I use on my lip and cheek and just push it and uh, tap it on and push it into that indigo. Just a little bit. So layer your lip and cheek. So on a little bit of gloss. So this is Cindy right here in the middle. Right. And see I've got all that rich brown and then contrast it with a pink as a very natural color. I think all ladies should wear some sort of pink, especially when you're wearing brown. Then I'm gonna take the Illuminator Angel and I'm just gonna put it on that top part of my lip to bring some light to lift the lip up. And then right here in the center. Then I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna put on my mascara and I'm completely done. If you're ready to be color matched, just go to yes.outthematchme.com. I look forward to sharing more with you. See y'all.